so Make Harvard started a little over a year ago. I'm an electrical engineer, uh, and I'm actually the only engineer on the Hack Harvard team. Hack Harvard, of course, is more computer science oriented. It's uh, less about uh, making physical things, but more about making software things. I took the idea to a few of the people on the Hack Harvard team, and I said, hey, I, I think this Make Harvard thing could happen. So we started building it for a little while. Um, I had some friends in the Harvard College Engineering Society, uh, and I actually messaged them. Um, we worked throughout the summer, and as the year went on, uh, it transitioned from this is just my dream, my vision, this ha make Harvard thing, to really being the team and uh, a lot of the other folks on the leadership taking it over. Uh, so about, about a month ago now, we had our first event. Uh, it was about 200 people coming from all around the U.S., um, about 10 uh, international students as well, uh, working for 24 hours to make things. Uh, and some of the resu results were pretty spectacular. I think electrical engineering is like the newest uh, engineering in a way. You think about uh, mechanical engineering has been around forever uh, since people have been building machines. Um, electrical engineering as a field, it's only just over 50 years old. Uh, in fact, I get to take classes uh, from people that were kind of there at the start. One of the most uh, interesting experiences, something that really sticks with me with CS, uh, was actually just last semester. Uh, this is a group project, junior design projects class. So we were working with a client, uh, in this case, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, um, to develop a project. Uh, we decided to build a wearable temperature tracking device. Uh, once they're out of the hospital, if there's any problem with their temperature, it would let them know uh, that way they could get to care faster. Uh, for that particular project, I worked on the motherboard for that. So this was a complete systems design project. Um, we had to put ourselves in the minds and in the shoes of other people uh, experiencing these problems and figure out how to best solve the problem directly addressing that for them. I didn't have that much experience with PCB design going into that. I'd done a little bit of work, I'd done a little bit of tinkering around with it, um, but really going through the entire system from beginning to end, saying, you know, what's the thickness of that? Is that 0 0.063 inches? Is that 0 0.031 inches? Uh, that was amazing to me. Uh, there's a lot of different fields that intersect with uh, printed circuit board design. Uh, and the leading experts on PCB design at Harvard, there's three or four people who are kind of the authorities here, and I'm pretty good friends with all of them. Like I can pop in, uh, pop into Jim's office and say, hey, Jim, and we can have a conversation about uh, RFID technology for 20 minutes, and it, it doesn't feel like I'm wasting anyone's time. When you're an engineer at SEAS, you're not just an engineer at SEAS. Uh, you get to be an engineer plus uh, wherever else your interests lie, which is a wonderful thing.